Hey everyone, it's me, Kevin Aguilar, and today I'm here to talk to you about the circle of life, or more specifically, the brand new. As many of you probably heard, the Disney just released the brand new Lion King, and this time, I mean, well, before I let me start from the very beginning on this one, the Lion King that that cartoon version that we all grew up with many many moons ago was quite simply amazing. And I'll be honest, it's like I, I'm kind of one of those things where why mess with perfection? Because it was so good. And then just recently, I started seeing a lot of negative press about this new version of The Lion King. There's a lot of people who are just unhappy and don't like it. Maybe it's just the world we live in, or perhaps maybe it's the movie itself. I'm about to share with you my opinion on that subject. Just let me come right out and say it. I thought the movie was good. Not just good. I mean, I thought it was very, very good. I mean, the way they did it, the way I just, I see what they were intending to do. I think they accomplished it. I think a lot of the people who were unhappy with it is because it wasn't necessarily the cartoon uh, that we all grew up with. This was, you know, they did it like with the live CGI and it's so real. Matter of fact, there was sometimes it was so incredibly real that I almost felt like I was watching one of those really like good National Geographic BBC like Planet Earth type documentaries. It was that incredibly good. And I think they, they, there was great continuity. I think they, they maintained the integrity and the realness of this movie. And I think that's what, like I said, has people kind of upset. I thought it was well done. I thought it was very funny at times. They added some really neat new music. They have some really great funny one-liners in there. They, uh, Disney pokes fun at, fun at itself and even kind of does a couple jokes from other Disney movies. Again, I, I, and then seeing it on the big screen and the big, big, big Serengeti planes. I mean, it was just a great movie. I, I thought it was great. If I had to have any criticism, criticism at all, is that it's almost too good. It is incredibly real. And with that, if you have more younger sensitive viewers, maybe younger children, I mean, it's gonna be pretty intense, I think, in certain parts with them because it looks real. I mean, you know you see these intense fight scenes in National Geographic or BBCs and those documentaries. At times, it's gonna almost replicate that. So it does get pretty darn intense, uh, but I can see why they kept it, they kept that in, that, that realness because the, the, the animals look so real. So they made sure that they portrayed the animals real. You know, it's very, very authentic in my opinion, but with that said, I think it's a great movie. I think everyone should go out and see it because I was blown away, like so impressed, really liked it. Uh, I ended up going with my daughter, Kendra. Um, she's age nine and she went and she's seen the cartoon and she watches the, the, pri um, the Disney Pride, whatever it's called. She'll probably have more information on that. And I know that she's got a couple words to add about The Lion King and as to whether or not you guys should. It's the best movie I've ever watched, at least one of them. It really like connects with the lot with Disney's The Lion Guard and I love um I just love it. It just it tells a whole lot of the story and it kind it actually adds on because in Disney's The Lion Guard, I'm giving you guys a spoiler alert. It all it says is that Simba just So, in closing, there you have it, The Lion King, 
it's a go see movie so go watch it um, did you see it already <clears throat> or did you see it after this video don't forget to post a comment down below and if you're watching this on YouTube don't forget to like and subscribe